So this is a cage that you would dive in if you're diving with sharks. You'd figure it'd be made out of steel, but it's actually made out of boxed aluminum. Pretty cool though. It actually looks very similar to the frame of an RV. What's going on guys? So this morning I received several pictures from one of my subscribers who captured some images of the new 2020 GMC Denali heavy duty pickup trunk. Now it's not 100% clear whether it's a 2500 or a 3500, but judging by the leaf spring count in the back, it's likely to be a 2500 since I don't see an overload leaf. However, the body styling of this truck is very reminiscent of the new Chevy Silverado 2500 HD, which I think isn't a big surprise for a lot of folks. However, there are some distinctions in terms of the front grille as well as the side body lines. And they've definitely made distinctions between the three quarter ton truck and the half ton truck. If you look at a half ton GMC Denali for 2019, you'll notice the fenders are rounded in some areas and then squared off in others. Whereas on this truck, everything is kind of symmetrical from side to side and there isn't necessarily a lot of difference between the front fender and the rear fender. Also, if you look at the headlights on this specific truck, you'll notice that the headlights appear to have kind of that C-shaped bracket surrounding them, very similar to the half ton. However, it appears to be three stacked projectors for your headlights, and those are likely gonna be LED high and low beam projectors. Underneath, you'll see the fog lamps, which again, very reminiscent of the half ton truck, though distinctly different. So a big difference between the two side profiles of the GMC and the Silverado is that the GMC uses kind of this angular approach to the wheel well, whereas the Chevy Silverado HD trucks are more rounded. But what's nice is that both trucks now have that inner plastic trim around the wheel well, which was a GMC exclusive in the past. So they've added a little bit more flair to both trucks and they've continued it on the GMC. The GMC flare appears to be a little larger though, so I think they've added more bulk to it to define it better. As you can see, the rear view mirrors appear to be carryovers from the Silverado, as well as the step in front of the back fenders and the step behind it at the bumper. Both of those steps I think are really great ideas and to GM's point, they definitely are gonna help folks who are hitching up fifth wheels and goosenecks and things like that. So the subscriber who took these pictures did try to check to see what type of frame protection they were using, whether it was gonna be E-coated or Nox coated. It does appear they will probably use the Nox coating on the frame simply because they did that on the half ton trucks. But who knows, because the Canyon and Colorado both got E-coated frames, so they may very well be E-coating the frames of their three quarter ton up trucks. Once I'm able to get a close up of the frame personally, I will check and see specifically what type of frame protection is used. Now in terms of power plant, it's likely going to share the same power plant as the 2020 Chevy Silverado HD pickup trucks. There may be a slight power increase for the Denali lines, simply because you're starting to see that with premium models and premium trims of truck packages where they'll give you a slight increase in horsepower and torque. That might be the case for the gas powered truck, but I'm pretty sure the diesel engine is gonna be a carryover from the 2020 Silverado HD pickup trucks that were recently revealed. Now it's hard to tell because of the camouflage on this truck, but it kind of appears as if the body lines are a little bit smoother and more subtle than those of the Silverado and the two half ton trucks from GMC and Chevrolet. But it, again, it's kind of hard to tell simply because of the amount of camouflage that's on the side of this truck. Overall though, it does have a pretty nice appearance to it. I believe we are very close to the official reveal of this truck and I look forward to showing it to you when it comes out. Anyways guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.